but India has not let its guard down. In fact, uh, it has uh, done everything in its capacity to continue to strengthen our security post the Mumbai terror attacks. For instance, for years, China is said to have leapt far ahead of India when it comes to its missile program. But the recent successful test of the Agni-3 long-range nuclear missile has given the country a let up to its strategic defense. Now India's top missile scientists have revealed that this year we'll see India begin testing its most formidable weapon yet, one ca that can even hit the farthest parts of China. Our defense correspondent Shivarur gets us this report. Anything within 3,500 kilometers of India can be reduced to dust by this weapon, developed and built fully in India. The Agni-3, India's most potent nuclear missile, is ready to be deployed as an instrument of strategic deterrence. But it still is in a patch over what 2010 has in store. We have Agni-3, which goes to a range of 3,500 kilometers, and that covers most of our areas of influence, what we need today. But the future requirements that from anywhere within the country, we should be able to cover a large part of the landmass. But that Agni-5, 5,000 plus kilometers range missile is already, has gone beyond the design drawing boards and onto the material cutting and the subsystem development stage. If that doesn't make you feel a little safer, try this for size. India's top scientists are the least bit unnerved by China's enormous weapons program. For all the bluster, they believe India is still leagues ahead of Beijing. We are well ahead of China in many respects and definitely ahead of Pakistan in the total capabilities. It goes deeper. Fresh from the afterglow of successful tests of a homegrown anti ballistic missile system, Indian scientists believe it will soon be far less susceptible to a missile attack than China. We are senior. <laughs> this is one area where we are senior to China. China's defense budget may dwarf India's, but Indian weapon scientists are still working very hard to give the country's large neighbor some food for thought. After China's controversial anti-satellite weapons test in 2007, it has been revealed that India already has the capability. In terms of technologies what we are using, we are way ahead. The development exercise on ground, on the simulation boards is already on. And any time the nation needs this capability to be integrated into a weapon, it can be created. The stunning new confidence is laced with a very new proposition. India doesn't even consider Pakistan competition anymore in weapons development. Agni 3's deployment readiness has infused enormous confidence into a system that has been criticized for years. 2010 promises to be very different. India's missile program is something that every Indian can justifiably be proud of at this stage. It's been a program that has been criticized over the decades, but now, on this day, on this stage, the Agni, the anti-ballistic missile program and others are something that every Indian can actually be proud of. Shiv Arur in Delhi for Headlines Today.